Hello everybody, and of course, welcome back to Dickie's Videos, where no war game remains unplayed. Further ado, here we are, with something slightly new to my channel that I have been playing in the background for a number of days now, and I thought, I'm brave enough to be uh, criticised and told how crap I'm doing. So here it is, John Tiller, The Falklands. I've got to say, I do recommend the John Tiller series. I don't know which one this is out of the John Tiller, but it's The Falklands. Um, and I looked at a couple of conflicts that I would like to cover on my channel. And of course, this being uh, one of them. So we're going to jump in with, you know, like start small before I start edging up to bigger battles and overcomplicating my gameplay even more um so this is platoon level uh normal day conditions um play as the british while reading the getting started uh, pdf to learn the base of the game uh, can also be played against ai or played by email so this is the i won't i'll paste the kind of chat thing in in the the the, the description into the um uh so the, the level description into the YouTube um, link below, uh, so you guys can. Hear. So this is kind of the Welsh Guards attacking uh, uh, di uh, attacking high ground before they are going to Port Stanley, uh, at Sapper Hill, I think it is. Yes, it is. Um, this is quite a bloody game. We do have, of course, artillery. Uh, also, we have um, some naval guns uh, this is particularly a harsh mission i have looked at this and it is brutal uh, but yeah here we go we got four turns we of course we're going to play the british and if we enjoy it that much i'll probably come back and play the argentinians um, but i know it does say play the british um for things so here we are turn one i'm going to make sure i turn that beeping sound off because that um uh, does particularly annoy. No beep on error. Here we go. Prompt scenario introduction. Yes, auto save, complete taskbar. Uh, yeah, leaders on top. That, that's the only thing I know to change there. So we're going to have a play. So, of course, uh, I think we have been granted a couple of artillery pieces, which we're going to call both in. We've got artillery uh, and also some British uh, 105 mil howitzers. And there we go. I will turn on the reachable hexes and visible hexes. So where I can see, um, because yeah, <laughs> it's it's harsh. Uh, I always forget to do this when I'm playing. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, to click that like, subscribe button. I will be going slow on this. This is, will not be a bang, 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 bang like I normally do on a couple of other games because I'm really comfortable on them. This will be a, a slow pace going through the mechanics. Uh, and of course, like I said, just check the John Tiller site out. It's uh, an interesting... Uh, section. I've, I've, I've always watched people play them and uh, talk about them on like the Wargaming Gentleman site and of course the uh, Wargaming Tactical uh, Facebook page, but never actually sat there and gone, yeah, I, I want to play this. So remember, you can actually kick your enemies and see what they see. So we know here there is a nice band of uh, line, uh, line, no line of sight, but oh my god, you can these guys can be seen. And these guys, unfortunately, on this bunker position, the bottom left. Um, don't have anything particularly well they can chuck. They've got binoculars they can use to spot, but I think that's exactly what they can see. They can't see in between here. So I did sat here thinking before playing this mission, do we drop smoke in between the two positions here before the, the uh, advance up the hill? Or do we just RT the living? But Jesus, blow them on that hill up. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we just need to make sure what can see. Unfortunately, we they can see us quite well. So, and I think the first thing I would do on this mission is find them bloody smoke grenades. What range of the smoke grenades? One. I don't want to get pinned. Uh, so I'm going to drop smoke on these first two positions. Oh, we should have done it on that first one. And that is... Smokey the Bandit. We're out of smoke. So positioning right now is fine. So I think, as you can see, this should now block a lot more. But we're going to have to advance, and we're going to get pinned, and this is going to be horrendous. Okay, Knife Troop, you are up. You see, can they see me there? I'm sure I'm for this blocks now. Oh, it's they got. Oh no, they got an SMG. That's why they want a uh, SLR. Yeah, they can see right through there. I think it's at this position here. But there's a slight uh, 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 hill here, so we we'll go from 200 to 250. Um, well, we're gonna have to run like the clappers, aren't we? Uh, want reachable hexes, don't we now? Oh, I thought I was gonna die horrendously there.
Can he actually see anybody? I've got to really find the key for this uh, visible hexes. Yeah, he can't see. Can't see chaff. Can't see anything there. Yeah, we're gonna take fire here. There's particularly nothing we can do apart from trying to dash, dash away. There is a objective there as well, and I think there's like a couple of weapons. Yeah, so remember, it's what they can see. What is that key for that? The uh, There must be a key for that. Yeah, it's blood, they're all over the place. But like I said, what I can limit dying on this first position would be brilliant. Um... I know they can't see there, so I think I'm happy moving. That's the NCO guys. I don't want them to die. That was oddly successful. Can we actually see them on that position? Visible heck. No, we can't see diddly. Well, they can't see me. I can't see them. So we got a chance to hit them with some artillery. Oh ah, yes, yeah, sneaky bugger. Who, so who can see who there? That's this is the question, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they can see. We're gonna get a lot of reaction fire there if we sit there. But do we open up a can of whoopass? Probably not. And I think I've now exhausted my. No, I still, I still can move. That's brilliant. Uh, I think there's one point left. So, initial movements have been successful with a least amount of getting shot in the face by Argentine defence fire. That defence fire is just ridiculous. It's it's kind of punishing in respect. It's very punishing with line of sight. Uh, and this game is brutal because of that. I mean, I like the little banner I've got here uh, with the Falklands thing on it just because it's, it, I, I, it's nice to see it and I can see the weapons. I know you can turn it off, but... We've got move 14. Who can can these guys actually see anything else? No. But if I get there, everybody sees you. Everybody sees you. So I'll be interested to see who they shoot at in their turn. Uh, we have called in that artillery, haven't we? Yes, we have. Let's make sure that's called in, because I think that's kind of very helpful here. Okay, battle there, save. Yeah, the, oh, all they can see is the British pillbox in the rear, so he's going to get punished. But the positive for that, ladies and gentlemen, is that they can see me, I can see them, and I'm about to call some artillery down on them. There must be some reduction in pinning damage and demoralization due to the pillbox. Gonna get that manual out later. They disrupted, so they set up the radio, but I'm hoping that doesn't stop our artillery. Oh god, they're getting punished. so good at artillery. Who are they actually... They are reducing their status a little bit. Very slowly. Not every hit is reducing it. 97. So there we go. Turn 2. Like I said, we will be taking this slow. This is not going to be... Uh... Oh, did the artillery actually come in there? Called. Now it's got uh, min delays 1, max delays 3 turns. Nope. So it's not in just yet. So who can see who again? So here they can see. Oh god, everybody can see everybody there. But the question is, do we waste the turn to look for art for, for the artillery, or do we move up? We 
we all can jump up there. Hmm. But it's going to be brutal. Who's going to be the sacrificial pawns? Or oh, not you guys. I think we are not going to do this until the artillery comes in. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I think we're better off just holding off at least one more turn for the artillery to come in. Fortunately, they're going to get shot up. the pinning positions and just the artillery down. There's no way we can assault this without any cover. Well, they're not pinned in the bunker at the back yet. But it doesn't mean the computer player is going to stop shooting them up there. So they were forced back off that ridge, actually, because they dropped the weapon. <laughs> He's got no bugger that. But we'll have to commit to the full attack in the, in the, in the next turn. So he's late at that five objective position. So we're still at 97% uh, morale there. Here we go. This should be artillery. Yep, yeah, support available. I remember not to click off this button once I'm on it. So available is the, this is the, um, I don't know if this randomized, if it says, so delay one, max delay three. So maybe it's, and it's got three missions of so targets. So this is the, uh, this is the 4.5 turrets. Ugh, if you can see behind my head, uh, we've got HE or illumination. We're going to go for HE. Uh, and I think I'm going to go directly on here. And it sights in just behind. Any hits here or pins would be awesome. Nice. There is actually a weapon mounted there. Did they actually pin them at all? No. Well, up we go, lads. Up we go. Okay, so reachable hexes. So that is all their moves. And we got disrupted horrendously from that fire. Yeah, I think it takes all your movement points to get up to that uh, position. Oh, wow, that is, like, killer. So who can they actually see there? Nobody. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a... Oof, oof, I don't like that at all. Uh, can we, do we actually have to call that artillery... No, they're all called in still. So we've, 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 we're literally at the cusp of just obliteration. Oh, looks like we've got some paras coming in. <laughs> that was a surprise. Yeah, they're paras. Oh, but they're going to get defence fired as well. lot of disruption there but yeah i think that 50 meter or whatever the verge was took a lot of our movement points off so we couldn't actually fire straight away so we are giving them receiving some fire back to them we're not lost guys you're gonna see this how it happens there's gonna be no uh repeats oh that was a grenade was a casualty of some description on the right. I need to find a combat log or something here.
Okay, can we hold this fire? Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Argentinians there. There we go. Is it turn four already? Oh. And we do have more support available. So let's look at the support first. So we have both available this turn. So we'll go for the guns again. Uh, they will target... If we do it in between HE 4.5 inch uh, guns, there we go. Oh, it means just. Ooh, that's kind of perfect, actually. So maybe that's a thing because of the fog of war that I don't actually see what's pinned or what's not. Actually, that well, unit was pinned. So there we go. And then we're going to call in our... Uh, this will be available. It will be 105 mil target. And we're going to do just HE. Try not to click off this because... Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it direct... Oh, it's direct now. Uh, actually really well here. There's a lot of pin troops on that hill. Brilliant, I like that. So let's now uh, <laughs> let's hurt these guys that are here. Can we chuck the satchel charges at them? Because I think that would be quite awesome right now. Oh, they're all pinned. Well, we're gonna. Well, I'm sorry, we we are going to murder you now. Oh, no, you're out of uh, points. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna shoot everything at you. Gah. Okay, okay, okay. So what I want to do is one. So we'll SMG you to death, and then we're gonna move forward and then decimate you. Hopefully. Uh, that's all you guys done. Okay, so who else has not moved? Okay, we're going to move forward. Hopefully they haven't got too many action points. We're going to start throwing some granatas. <laughs> what did I just throw at them? <laughs> <I'm not laughs> that's a grenade, is a dit. No, I think it's illumination. <laughs> Whatever it is, I need to go and research. I thought there was an actual grenade. Okay, so disrupted. Well, you're still going to get into the action of those. Uh, no, that's up a hill. Oh. Let's put some pins down this. Actually, no, all of you can shoot at that guy on the left. Okay, I think they're pinned, so they ain't going to move. Um, who else is here? Well, you're going to you're going to murder them Argentinians that came down that hill. Well, we'll try and just murder them as we move up. Oh, I got disrupted for my own. Nope, you're done. You're done. I think. Can we actually get anywhere with that with reachable hexes? Oh no, we haven't got enough to move up the hill. Still like murderous fire there, and I think he left his guns in blind panic. He's demoralised. Uh, we do have the commander there. Is that enough points to actually rally? Take it easy over there. Uh, it, I don't think he did that. I don't think that worked. <laughs> 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call that there because things may be going a little bit pear-shaped, but I think we could probably rescue it. But remember, clicking that like and that subscribe button and coming back more uh, for further John Tiller content. I'll click the link below, but also the description to this uh, scenario in there. Um, but yeah, really interesting so far. I really need to research what grenade that was that we just chucked in there as well. All right, folks, have a great day and a great night. And I'll, of course, I'll see you on another day with another Battlefield.